we're going to have multiplying polynomials for the next two weeks. So let me share you the screen. So these are the notes that I have provided you. So I don't know if you have it with you right now, but basically let me discuss um, this one first. Okay, so let's have this one. So multiplying polynomials. So our objective is we're going to multiply polynomials. May it be polynomial, may it be um, binomial. So let's try. So when you multiply monomials and polynomials, you will use some of the properties of exponents that you've learned before. Okay. So let's have a warm up first. So if we say 3 squared, that's just the same as 3 times 3. So that's 9. 10 squared, 10 times 10, that's 100. 2 cubed times 2 raised to the power of 4. If they have the same basis as exponents, so what's 3 plus 4? 2 raised to the power of 7. Then if you have a parenthesis, then another exponent outside. So you multiply the exponents. So 3 times 2, that's why it's 5 raised to the power of 6. So if you have this one, distributive property, so negative 4 times x, so that's negative 4x. Then negative 4 times negative 7, that's positive 28. This part, 2 raised to the power of 4 is just 16, or you do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So you have to multiply those. Then y5 times y4 as exponents. Then if you have a parenthesis, then raise to the power of an exponent outside that parenthesis, multiply 2 and 4. So that gives you x raised to the power of 8. Now let's have this example and we're going to multiply monomials. Okay? So if you're going to multiply, so for example, the given is um, 5x squared times 4x cubed. So what's 5 times 4? That's 20. And then if you have the same basis, so x squared times x cubed, just add the exponents. So that becomes, so that becomes 2 plus 3. So that's x raised to the power of 5. So in multiplying, you can just combine even if they don't have the same term. Okay. So just combine them by add. If you're multiplying x squared and x cubed, just add the exponents. Okay, let's try letter B. Okay, so you have here a longer one, but when you multiply, just do the same thing as how we did A. So negative 3 times 4, so you're going to multiply the coefficients first. So that's negative 12. Then for the x's, that's just one right there, right? If you do have if you don't see an exponent, that's just one. So for the x's, three plus one, that's x raised to the power of four. And then for the y, two plus five, that's y. It's y raised to the power of seven. So that's how you multiply polynomials. Now for this one, if you have three sets or three monomials that you have to multiply, so one half. The coefficient, it's not, there's nothing there, it, there's just one. So one half times one is just one half. Times six, so what's one half of six? So that's just three. That's why you got three. Then for the a, add the exponents for those which has an a as a base. So three plus two, you don't have an a over here, so you just do three plus two, so that's a raised to the power of five. For the b, so you have, if you don't have an exponent, again, that's just one. So 1 plus 2, that's why we have b raised to the power of 3. And then for the c, we only have the c squared. The others don't have any c, so you just write c squared. So that's how you multiply, okay, polynomials. Second page. So let's have some additional examples. So we have here 6 times 3, that's 18. Then for the y, add exponents. 3 plus 5, that's y8. Now letter B, 3 times 9, that's just 27. For the m, again, that's 1 for the exponent. So for the m, 1 plus 2, that's 3 for the m. Now for the n, 2 plus 1, that's also 3. You can only add the exponents if they have the same basis, okay? For letter C, so what's 1 fourth times negative 12? That will give you negative 3. And for the S, S squared plus 
So you have an S right here, don't forget. And the exponent is one, and this one's exponent is one. So two plus one plus one. That's why it's S raised to the power of four for the answer. And for the T, take note, that's one. So two plus one plus two, that's why it's T five, or T raised to the power of five. Let's have more examples. So right here, three times six, that's 18. So you multiply the coefficients first, then do the exponents. So for the x, add the exponents, three plus two, that's why it's x five. Now letter number one b, two times five, that's 10. For the exponents, you don't have any other r, so you just copy r squared. Then for the t, don't forget, you have one, so one plus three, that's t four. For letter one, number one C, so one third times 12, or one third of 12 is just four. Or you can do one times 12 then divided by three, that's the same thing, if you're multiplying fractions, okay? So one third times 12, that's four. Then x squared times x cubed, you don't have any x, so two plus three, that's x five. For the y, you have here one, you don't have a y plus four. So that's five, y raised to the power of five. Then for the z, two plus five, that's z raised to the power of seven. So for the exponents, you're gonna have, you have to add them, okay? Now, what if it's a polynomial? If you're multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. So five times two x squared. So this is just distributed property. So five times two x squared, that's just 10 x squared. So you multiply the coefficients only. Since it doesn't have any x or any variable, you just copy the x squared. Next, five times x is just five x. Five times four is just 20. That's why you have that. If they're all positive, don't forget the pluses. Let's have another example. What if it has a variable beside that coefficient? So you got there. 2x squared times y times 3x. So 2 times 3, that's 6. For the excess, take note, that's just 1. So for the excess, 2 plus 1, that's why you got 6x cubed, or 6x raised to the power of 3. Then for the y, you don't have any other y in this part before the minus. So you just copy the y. Then after you multiply that, multiply to the next term. So after that minus, take note that's negative one y or just negative y, okay? So two times negative y or negative one is just negative two. Take note, you have the minus. Then for the x's, you don't have any other x, just copy x squared. But for the y, that's one plus one. So it should be y squared. Let's have the next example. For a, let me use the a. 4a times a squared b, so you don't have any other coefficient, you just write 4. This is just 1, so for the a, 1 plus 2 is a 3, copy b. Then for the next one, 4a times 2b squared, 4 times 2 is 8. For the a, 1, so you just have a, you don't have any other b, so you just copy b squared. More examples, four times three x squared is 12 x squared. Four times four x is 16 x. Four times negative eight, because you have the minus before that. So that's negative 32. Then for letter B, look at letter B. You have here 62 times two P, six times two is 12. For the P, one plus one is two, but you don't have any other Q, so you copy that. After that term, you multiply it to negative q. So six times, six p q times negative q, so copy negative six. So you don't have any other p, so you copy that for the q, one plus one. So the exponent should be two. For letter c, what's one half times six or one half of six? That's three. For the x squared and the x right here, two plus one is just three. So you should have x raised to the power of three. And for the y, one plus one, so that's y squared, or y raised to the power of two. After that term, you multiply it to this term. 
one half of eight or one half times eight is just four. It's positive, so you write plus. For the x's, two plus two is four, so that's why you have x raised to the power of four. For the y, one plus two, so that's three. So y raised to the power of three. Now let's have page three. So if you're multiplying a binomial by a binomial, you're going to do um, the FOIL method. Okay, so FOIL method is, FOIL, FOIL means first outer, inner, then last. So you're going to multiply the first terms first, the outer terms, the inner terms, and then the last terms. Okay, I will also teach you on how to do it. I think um, others find it easier when you do the window method. So of course, from the name itself, window method. Oh, so let's make the window. So you have two terms by two terms. So you can just write x plus three. If it's positive, you write just three, positive three, times x plus two. Okay, so you can do it, you can do the window method like using any, if it, even if it, they're not binomial. So two by three, four by eight, it's up to you. So for this one, x times x is x squared. So this is the answer if you're going to multiply that top and the one at the left. Okay, so x times x, take note, you have one as an exponent, right? So if you're dealing with variables, you add the exponents of those with the same basis. So that's why it's x squared. Now, for this part, three at the top, then x at the left. So three times x, always start with the number first. Okay? Then for this part, x times two, if it's a number and a variable, you just combine them, but always write the number first. Then this part, you have three at the top, then two at the left, so three times two is just six. So you multiply them. So whatever you multiply at the top and at the left part, that those answers should be on that same spot. Now, this is not yet the final answer. Now let's try the one with x squared, same basis. But this one, you can multiply the one uh, you can add them, you can combine them because they both have x's. So what's 2x plus 3x? That's just 5x. So 5x. So after you multiply or after you get all the answers in the window, you combine like terms. So you combine 2x and 3x, that's 5x. Then you copy 6 because you got no other whole numbers. That's why you should get x squared plus 5x plus 6. So it's the same thing. You're still going to get the same answer if you're going to do the FOIL method, okay? The FOIL method means x times x. So the first terms, if you multiply the first terms, that's x squared. Outer, that means x times 2, so that's 2x. Inner, 3 times x, that's 3x. Then 3 times 2, that's 6. So if you combine like terms, because you combine 2x and 3x, still the same thing x squared plus 5x plus 6. So it's up to you which one you're going to use, okay? So for example, this one. So let's use the window method since I've taught you the window method. So let's do... Just imagine that's a perfect window. Okay. So you have there x plus 2 and x minus 5. Take note, that's a minus 5. x times x is just x squared, because you're going to add the exponent, right? Because that has 1, and that has 1. Now, 2 times x is just 2x. Then over here, x times negative 5 is just still the same thing, number first, and also take note of the sign, so that should be negative 5x. Then 2 times negative 5 is just negative 10. After that, combine like terms. So that's x squared. Negative 5x plus 2x 
and just negative 3x. And then copy minus 10. Take note, when you write the final answer, you combine the excess if you see some, or sometimes if they have the same, um, if they are the same term or if they are like terms, like terms. Let's do this one. So what if we have that one? Okay, let me use this one. So for that part, if we have x5 or x plus 5, then parentheses squared, that's just the same when, let me write it in blue, when you multiply that to itself, okay? So don't confuse yourself. That's just x plus 5 and times x plus 5, okay? So it's over here. x times x, that's x squared. 5 times x, that's 5x right here. 5 times x, that's another 5x. And 5 times 5 is 25. So after multiplying, combine like terms. We don't have any other x squared. You can combine those x's. 5 plus 5, that's just 10. You can add them because they have the same sign. So 10x plus 25. And that's it. See? Still got the same answer. And same as this one. Okay? So I think that's it for today. So those are just some examples. So this is the, the window method. So same thing. So when you have a binomial and a trinomial, same thing. 2x squared plus 10x times 6. And then 5x times 5x plus 3. If you're going to multiply them, use the window method. It's easier. So 5 times 2, that's 10. Take note, if you have an x, add them. So 1 plus 2, that's 3 for the exponent. 5x times 10x is just 50x squared, because that's also 1 in the exponent. Add the exponents. 5x times negative 6 is negative 30x. 2x squared times 3 is just 6x squared. 10x times 3 is 30x. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. When you combine them, so it's here. You don't have any other x cubed, so you write that down. So only 10x cubed. For the x squared, you have 50 and 6. So what's 50 plus 6? So that should be 50x squared. For the x's, so you got negative 30 and 30. So if you're going to add them or combine them, 30 minus 30, that's just 0. So you don't have any other x. That's why you don't have an x over here. Then copy negative 18 because you don't have any other full number. And I think that's it for today. So if you have more questions, just ask me, okay? Bye-bye.